Telephone Tales by Gianni Rodari, illustrated by Valerio Vidali. The Country Without Sharp Edges Giovannino Vagabond was a great traveler. One day, in the course of his travels, he chanced upon a country where the corners of the houses were round and the roofs didn't rise to a point, but made a smooth, gentle hump instead. Rose bushes grew along the side of the road, and all at once Giovannino decided he'd pick a rose and put it in his buttonhole. As he was picking the rose, he took great care not to prick his fingers with the thorns, but he immediately noticed that the thorns didn't prick at all. There was no sharp point at the tip. In fact, the thorns seemed to be made of rubber, and they tickled his hand. Well, what do you think of that? Giovannino exclaimed loudly. Out from behind the rose bush popped a city constable with a broad smile on his face. Don't you know that it's forbidden to pick the roses? Uh, I'm sorry, I just wasn't thinking. Then you'll only have to pay half a fine, said the constable and with such a smile he could have easily been the little butter man who takes Pinocchio to Pleasure Island. Giovannino noticed that the constable was writing out his ticket with a pencil that had no point, and he couldn't help but say, Excuse me, but could I take a look at your saber? Why, of course, said the constable. And, of course, there was no sharp tip on the saber either. What country have I come to? asked Giovannino. The country without sharp edges, the constable replied, with such immense courtesy that all his words ought to have been written in capital letters. So, what do you do about nails? Oh, we abolished them a long time ago. We do everything with glue. But now, if you please, slap me twice in the face. Giovannino's jaw dropped, as if he were about to swallow a whole layer cake. What? How can you say such a thing? I don't want to wind up behind bars for assaulting a constable. If anything, it's me who should be getting slapped in the face, not the other way around. No, this is how we do things here, the constable explained politely. For a whole fine, four face slaps. For a half fine, just two. In the constable's face? That's right, in the constable's face. But that's unfair. It's terrible. Certainly it's unfair. Certainly it's terrible, the constable replied. It's such a despicable thing that people here are very careful not to break the law because they would never want to slap a poor soul who's done nothing wrong. Come on now, give me those two slaps in the face, and next time try to be more careful. But I don't even want to give you a a pat on the cheek. If anything, I'd gently stroke your hair. In that case, the constable was forced to conclude, I'll have to accompany you to the border. And to Giovannino's great humiliation, he was forced to leave the country without sharp edges. But to this very day, he still dreams of going back to a place where people live in such great courtesy and kindness, in lovely houses with gently rounded roofs.